Hey guys, it's Hafai, I'm back in. This is going to be an update of my Project 50 Pan Roulette. Um, I am not going to show the stuff I've already used. I've done it in other videos, it makes them really long. Um, I will do that when I get to the end of this project. I haven't actually finished anything this month, but I am going to declutter two things and add two more things in. So, let us just get into it. The first thing is the MAC Vegas Vault. This is a kind of orangey pink. Uh, it tends to end up looking pink on my lips, even though it looks really orange in the tube. I've used this a few times, but this is quite slow moving for me. Um, it doesn't look any different to what it did before. I honestly have not worn makeup a lot in the last month. I've basically been sick most of the month. I'm still slightly sick. Um, so I haven't made a huge amount of progress. I'm also late filming this, but anyway. Uh, the next one we have is the iTeeny uh, Swizzle Stick in Midnight Cowgirl, which is a sort of grey colour. Um, I use this all over the eyelid today. Uh, I don't know if it's actually moved too much. Yeah. It's really hard to tell. It's also broken. Um, <laughs> so, um, I tend to use it just a tight line, but today I put it all over the eyelid, which actually really helped the blue... Um, pop, quite frankly enough. That's weird. Um, yeah, so it is still going strong. It could be a very long time before that is actually finished. Then we have the eyebrow stylus from Essence. Uh, haven't made a lot of progress on this this month. It still pretty much looks the same as it did last time. I'm trying to actually make it go like straight across and I don't seem to be working, so I'm working more down in here. But as always, I will insert a picture of what it looked like last time. Because that helps with actually seeing progress in things like that, that are really hard to see the progress in. Then we have the Starlux Ultra Olive Pencil. Which looks like it needs to be sharpened apart from anything else. Uh, as you can see, I was really well prepared and measured everything beforehand. So even though it has been over a month since I last updated, uh, yeah, there's not a lot of progress. <laughs> so, uh, that line up there is where we were last time, and now we are down there. A little bit of progress, not a whole lot. The W7 lipstick in pink, it actually has no name. I don't actually recall using this. You'd think that the Mania would be done with it already, but... Then we have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, which when I used it today, you could see through the tube, and now you can't see through the tube. But there is a weird line that has appeared, which I think is basically where the product is. Um, marks keep on rubbing off on this, so. But we're down there. There's really not a huge amount of product left in here. Um, when I scrape around the sides, it, just above where the pink lines are, pink line is, you can sort of see in the packaging, so, yeah, there's not a huge amount in there, but I really like using it, so I'll just keep using it until it's gone, um, and then I'll try and find another one. They never have them in store when I go to buy one. The Inglot, um, it's supposed to be a highlighter, not a very good highlighter, I um, actually have not touched this at all, this is in 85, 
So yeah, that is one product that I have not used in the last month at all. Um, the first one of the products that I'm actually going to declutter is this Maybelline lipstick in Very Cherry. Um, it is super old and I have decided, even though it seems to still be fine, I've decided that um, I have so many lip products, I don't know why I'm keeping something that is not even made anymore. <laughs> so that is one that is going to be decluttered. Then we have the NYX Control Freak, which is the eyebrow, clear eyebrow gel. Um, I'm not sure how much I've got left. It's looking kind of manky, which is what always happens because it picks up the powder or the pencil that you actually use. It works well enough. I just keep on using it. Then we have the lip liner, which is the L'Oreal lip liner in uh, Belle Naturelle. This is actually what I am wearing today with a lip gloss over the top. And I will attempt to mark it without breaking it. Had pretty good progress on this. I've actually reached for this one quite a bit. I mean, there's still quite a bit in there. There, it's kind of like a dark nude, which is my preference anyway. So, this is the one here. So, oh, that was where we were last time, and that is where we are now. So, a bit of movement there. Then we have the Overtime Shadow Oops, from the Models Prefer palette, which was in this spot here. I depotted it with another shadow from a different palette, which is almost exactly the same colour, and put them both together in this. This is really thin. I can see holes, like see through it from certain spots. Um, it's very thin. I use it like a transition kind of colour and to help blend out colours. Um, I use it basically every time I do my eyes. So I don't think it will be too much longer as long as I wear makeup. Then we have the Maybelline Shadow Stick which is the other thing that I'm going to declutter. I had several of these and over time I've slowly but surely got rid of all of them because I really actually don't like them. Um, that is it there. They tend to be super patchy and hard to blend and um, they don't really make any difference to how your makeup goes on, like your eyeshadow goes on. This one's in Touch of Toffee. So here's the other one that I am decluttering. Then we have the eyeshadow pigment, which was the one in Obscure from Glamadol Eyes, which is a fairly neutral, dark, mauvey colour. I honestly haven't touched this mode because I forgot it was in a project and it was just kind of like sitting in the drawer. <coughs> then we have the teeny tiny little sample of Benefits Professional. Um, I've used this a couple of times. Probably got. <coughs> uh, it's basically still pretty full. Um, I'm not 100% sure I like it. I think I like the Base Magic better than this one. And I like the Fashionista Fashion Secret one even more, which is a much older one. Um, but basically the same kind of product as this. Um, but yeah, I've used it a couple of times and I haven't used it enough to actually form an opinion on as yet. But it's still going. And then we have a colourful eyeshadow which I picked what? Which is this one up here from my Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. Uh, there's I've used it, but you wouldn't really know it, which is fine. I've got it underneath 
blend it out a little bit underneath my eyes today. It's I wasn't expecting that one to <laughs> move very fast at all. It's very, very pigmented. You don't need very much. It's just, yeah, they are incredibly good shadows for that. So I need to pick out two new products which will be the 30th and the 31st product in this challenge. So I have my container here. And I have two that have stuck together. First one is a liquid eyeliner. And the second one is a product from a friend. Okay. Back. Okay, for liquid eyeliner, um, this is probably a little bit of a gimme because I've been using this for quite a while. It just won't die. Uh, this is the Almay liquid eyeliner in brown black. It's pretty much what I use all the time. Um, it's right there. Uh, it. I don't think it's got much left in it. It's sort of starting to get to that stage where you kind of have to go over it like twice. But I figure if I'm going to use it, I might as well have it in a project and feel like I've actually used it for a good reason. Uh, yeah, so that is the Almay Liquid Eyeliner. And the product from the friend, I'm actually going to chuck in this foundation from the Body Shop, which I got from Tamara J. Um, it didn't... It, I think it's because it's not vegan is the reason that she got rid of it. Um, I'm not sure <coughs> how the colour's going to go because it's in 04. So it might be... Oh, it doesn't look too bad. I haven't actually even swatched it or anything, so... Yeah, it might be okay. It depends on whether it oxidizes or not. Um, I don't generally wear foundation so much as like a BB cream, like I'm wearing BB cream today. Um, but I have all these foundations and I need to use them. So I figure I'll use that one. Um, it came from a friend. So that is it for this update of my Project 50 Pan Roulette. That has been going for probably almost a year now. <laughs> we're, we're still not at 50. We're getting there though. We're over halfway. So if you want to subscribe, click the button down there or the floaty icon thing that will be somewhere on the screen eventually. Uh, leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.